the studio. When dealing with the kind of challenges facing Nigeria, experience counts in the struggle to find lasting solutions. A consolidated amendment bill seeking to allow the appointment of the chief of defense staff from among the three service, services of the Niger Nigerian Armed Forces skilled troops reading at the House of Representatives. The bill also aims to raise the retirement age of members of the Armed Forces from 60 to 65 and from 35 years to 40 years. So we have a story on that in terror attacks and other criminal acts in the country over the last decade has placed more burden on the nation's security forces. More heat is the nation's armed forces whose personnel have been on the line of fire in safeguarding the country's territorial integrity. The bill, or consolidated bill. Nasarawa lawmaker Gaza Bifi and seven other members are the sponsors of the two bills which seek to impact the lives of armed forces personnel. The first bill seeks to raise the retirement age of personnel in the Nigerian armed forces from 60 to 65 years, while the years in service is proposed to move from 35 to 40 years. HB 07 seeks to clear any unambiguity with regard to the appointment of one, the chief of defense staff, and number two, service chiefs of the various arms of the armed forces. It equally aims to increase the retirement age for army officers, considering the amount of investment made into them to 65 years and 40 years having been in the service. Most significantly is the need to make ample use of the technical know-how of senior officers who are compulsorily retired due to the appointment of their subordinates as service chiefs. The bill proposes that they are engaged by the chief of defense staff as senior technical consultants for the training of officers in defense college, armed forces staff college, and other related military institutions. The second bill seeks to make it compulsory that retired army officers that are retired before their ages of mandatory retirement in order to maintain institutional knowledge and to fully harness the investments that have been made into these military officers that they become more of consultants and train the younger generations or younger crop of officers that are coming up behind them. If the bill eventually becomes a law, it will exclude those retired as a result of disciplinary measures or on health grounds. Jokeyatsa, TVC News, Abuja. All right, Judy, I think this is, um, this is good. Absolutely. This is good. When you look at the training they go through, when you look at what it is to produce a general, it's not something that when you look at the age at which mm. uh, they retire, they usually retire at a time when they still have a lot to mm. offer. To offer, you know. Uh, so I think that the people who brought this bill, um, I do deputy speaker, former deputy speaker, uh, I do I do a blessing on uh, Gochiri, Steve Fatoba. Those who don't let sponsor the bill, I think they did the right thing. Because in our country, mm. we don't have um, a system in which we can call up reservists in, in case of um, uh, emergency. We've seen Israel do that uh, during the Yom Kippur War, um, calling up almost 100,000 reservists at once mm. during the um, Yom Kippur War. And again, the attack by uh, Hamas. They've already exactly. called up hundreds of thousands of reservists and uh, they're already massing more than 375,000 uh, troops uh, already um, set for a ground offensive in Gaza. We do not have that system and we, ha we still have officers, retired army officers, who still have a lot to offer. I know someone, for example, who, based on politics, he was a colonel mm. and he was killed out right. of the army. When we speak, the ideas 
that he comes up with. I'm like, ah, Nigerian Army has lost someone. So there has to be a system that ensures that one, they don't go at the time they go. Mm. Some of the people that I, we met when um, um, we went for the um, uh, chief of Fab, I mean the Nigerian Army Day celebration in uh, Oweri. Mm -hmm. Some of those officers that I sat with them, all that they say who they were playing mm -hmm. with me, oh, already retired. Mm -hmm. and, and these are young people. Mm -hmm. People, great officers like uh, um, uh, General Izugu, mm -hmm. you know, who designed the MRAP. Uh, MRAP. He's retired. Mm -hmm. so right. You just have a situation in which once some service chiefs are appointed, just wipe them off. They just go. Mm -hmm. They could be in hundreds. They would just go like that. Mm -hmm. And they still have a lot to offer. That is the thing. The terminal age for a good number of them is uh, Major General, uh, Rear Admiral uh, or something. Mm -hmm. You know? They are still, sometimes, even in their early 50s, they are gone. Mm -hmm. They are gone. Mm -hmm. So, as they said, when you, they appoint service chiefs, those who mandatorily are eased out of the force, the force has to find a way to accommodate them mm. so that they can spend. Because what I sense is that the, even if we say they, they can get up to 65 years or spend 40 years, appointment of service chiefs will still send, still some, some send them packing. A lot of them away. Once you appoint a service chief from the rear, that is a, a junior to mm. the former service chief, yeah. all of the people who are his seniors, except a few, how to go. He's the one who choose maybe some of the people that he, uh, he likes. Those ones who work with him, uh, they will be in defense headquarters, they will give them, but generally, they always, all the seniors who go. It, uh, we have to do something about that. And I agree that they, since they still have a lot to offer, they should allow them to work, um, to help train other officers. Because mm. look, the co cost of training a general, some of them are benefiting from foreign, foreign yeah, training. Yeah, yeah, some of those guys. Yes. Mm. If we have a look at you. an Air Force officer, uh, a pilot, for example, they go through tremendous training in Nigeria and uh, outside Nigeria. There's a lot that they can offer people coming uh, behind them. We just shouldn't dispense with these people like that. So I agree uh, with this bill. I support this bill uh, wholeheartedly that they should uh, move the retirement age to 65 years and the uh, years of service to 40 years. Mm. That's all. When you want to look at, when you even look at some military general, in the, when you watch CNN or foreign news agencies mm -hmm. and all mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. In America, there's a, one general you see, a man with white hair. Yeah. Because, um, because the, the value knowledge and experience, and that's what we need. I think we have identified the major factors. One, the retirement age, and then two, appointment of service chief. I think a time will come in this country that succession as service chiefs will not be strictly by appointment again politic by political um, office holders because that is what is missing. People want to see people or who are loyal to them mm. to be in charge. And that's still because of the African mentality or nature, where there is still this fear yes. ah, yes. about the it's military. It's to it's all around <laughs> Africa now. <laughs> about the military. Yeah, yeah, this time. You, you know, must, uh, so you, you want to, back. <laughs> to be sure that this man, I can trust him not to, <laughs> not to do something that would be detrimental to my stay in office. But I think we are going to overcome it. It's just a matter of time. It shouldn't take us too long. Because that affects us greatly. Once we overcome that, and the succession is natural, the next person who is going to take office will know himself and be prepared for it. 
we'll be able to, to properly structure our military and then benefit from it. Because this idea of once you become a colonel, any other promotion is political, it should go. Mm. It should be by merits and nothing else. We should ensure that merit runs throughout their stay in service. Another one to become a commissioner of police. Mm. Any other one will be by his own. Yeah, gee, uh, you know, you must be able to represent a zone, a zone or a constituency. It shouldn't, be, it shouldn't be so much of quota again. Mm. And that's because of our fears. You are, you are leaving my people behind. My people, no AIG, no, you know, no brigadier general. Everything is just based on quota. We are going to overcome that mm. over time. All right. In Zamfara State, 